Hi, Keshav here. Welcome back. As part of PolySpark video series, let's get started with the next video. All right. In this video, let's see what is map operation and how it can be used in PySpark. All right. So map operation is nothing but one of the RDDs transformation, which is mainly used to apply any sort of transformation function, especially like Lambda function on every element of RDD and it returns new RDD. Especially map transformation is mainly used to apply any sort of complex transformations on RDD, especially like deriving new field or creating new additional you know calculations. So any sort of complex transformations can be done by using map transformation. All right. So let's take one simple example and we see how easily we can derive uh, the new values you know by using map operation all right so i'm going to take one simple example here all right if you look at this data set uh, i got one product data set which has got product id and product name then sales amount so what i want to derive here is i want to derive the tax amount and also profit by using map transformation all right so tax amount and profit i don't have as of now in my data set but i want to derive those two fields by calculating uh, based on the sales amount which is already there in the data set all right so the calculation would be like tax amount is 20 percentage of sales amount and profit would be calculated as the difference between the sales amount and tax amount all right these two or the derived uh, columns those i'm gonna derive by using map transformation all right let's get started so i already logged into my uh, databricks community edition of course i imported required methods as well i just prepared one sample data set of course if you look at this data set it has got only three fields id name and sales amount we need to derive two additional fields those are tax amount and profit let's see okay so as i said map operation i would say that map transformation is a rdd transformation so that means it works on rdd all right so first i'm going to create data frame if you want to apply your map transformation on data frame first we need to convert that into rdd all right so i'm going to create one data frame df equals to spark dot create data frame so i'm gonna use data which i already created sample data that is my data and of course i'm gonna use the schema that is my schema schema equals to so I'm going to create one data frame by using this sample data set and the schema for that data set is coming from my schema. All right. So I'm going to just execute. Of course, it's been created. Now let me just display the data. All right. So we got data frame created with required fields and data also in there. All right, so product ID, name, and sales amount. Now, what exactly we need to do? We need to derive two fields. Those are tax amount and profit. So, for that, what are we gonna use? We gonna use map transformation. Let's see. As I said, before applying map transformation, we need to convert our data frame to RDD. So, I'm gonna just create one RDD here. RDD equals to how do you convert data frame into RDD? So we can convert data frame into RDD like df dot RDD. Then we're gonna use map transformation. So it uses lambda function here to apply the transformations. Okay. I'm gonna use lambda function. So now in here, so the first column I'm calling as is. I am not gonna do any sort of changes on there. So I'm gonna just say x of zero comma x of one. The name field also it should be as is. Then I'm gonna say x of 
two as a sales amount column should be there and then tax amount column will be derived here I'm gonna just say x of 2 cross how much is the tax we are gonna calculate tax as 20 percentage of sales all right so I'm gonna just cross the sales amount with 0 0.2 that's gonna be equivalent to 20 percentage then this is the tax all right now we are gonna calculate profit as well so that would be like x of 2 that is sales amount minus x of tax so that we have derived tax yet so again we are gonna use same calculation what are the way we are calculating tax it's gonna be 20 percent of our sales amount all right so um, now it should be here there should be bracket close that's it now I'm gonna display I'm gonna just you know print RDD print RDD dot collect let's see how it's gonna be what happened so okay one extra bracket was there all right so there is already created and our calculation also been applied all right so it's product sales amount and 20 percent is of you know 250 is gonna be 50 and uh, um, sales amount minus tax amount is 200 okay here sales is 250 50 is the tax and profit is 200 in the same way the um, calculation is done for other products as well all right so if you observe here so rdd has got no schema all right it just got data but there is no uh, there are no fields for rdd of course that's how rdd is right so now we are gonna convert this into data frame I'm gonna convert it into data frame before converting into data frame so I'm gonna create a new schema here because we got two additional fields we need to create schema for those fields as well so I'm gonna just say new schema equals to then whatever we have already in there and to that list we're gonna add two additional fields those gonna be tax amount then one more field it's gonna be profit all right so we are gonna derive a new schema and then let's convert this RDD into data frame so I'm gonna just say df1 equals to so how do we convert RDD into data frame so we by using function so spark dot create data frame and here we're gonna use RDD as data and the schema equals to the one which we just created it's gonna be new schema and I'm gonna just say display df1 all right all right see so we have derived two fields tax amount and profit we have just we could able to derive these two fields and we could calculate the value as well with just only one line of script all right so this is how we can just perform any sort of complex transformations by using map transformation all right so i hope this is clear for you guys so we'll meet again with a different concept in next video until then bye bye thank you thanks for watching my videos all right
Thank you. Bye-bye.